Hi, this is Dr. Ben Finio with Science Buddies, and this video is an introduction to the 2022 Floor Engineering Challenge. The goal of this year's challenge is to build a ball run using nothing but paper and tape that takes as long as possible for a ping pong ball to travel from the top to the bottom. The ball run must have an entrance where the ball first touches the run that is at least 10 inches or 25 centimeters off the ground, and an exit where the ball leaves the run that is at least one inch or 2.5 centimeters off the ground. Time starts when the ball enters the run and ends when the ball exits the run. Now, a basic straight ramp doesn't slow the ball down very much. It's up to you to think of various creative ways to make the ball run take longer. You've already seen that one way to do this is to make the ball's path longer, but you can also try making your entire ball run taller or adding various obstacles friction, or other features that can slow the ball down. But be careful. If the ball doesn't move for more than 10 seconds, it's considered stuck and you have to take it out and start over. After you have dropped the ball into the ball run, you are not allowed to touch the ball, the run, or influence their motion in any way, for example, by shaking, tilting, or blowing on them. Instead, you'll need to make some adjustments to your ball run or change the design until it works properly. Iteration is an important part of the engineering design process. There are some rules you will need to follow if you want to enter your ball run in the 2022 Floor Engineering Challenge for a chance to win a cash prize for your school or nonprofit organization. You can only use paper or tape to build your ball run. You can use graph, notebook, printer, or construction paper, up to 30 sheets total, along with one roll of masking, painters, or clear office tape up to one inch in width. Other types of paper, like cardstock or newspaper, and other types of tape, like duct tape or packing tape, are not allowed. Your ball run can be taped to the floor or another horizontal surface, like a table or desk, for support. If you would like your ball run to be portable, especially if you are working in a classroom environment, you can use a large, flat piece of cardboard as a base. You cannot attach your ball run to anything else for support. For example, a piece of furniture, a wall, or a trash can. You must use a ping pong ball, also called a table tennis ball. The ball cannot be modified in any way or have anything attached to it. You can try this challenge by yourself or in a team of up to four students. The challenge can be done at school, at home, or anywhere else, but either way, the kids are in charge. Adults can help with things like obtaining materials, but all the ball run design and construction should be done by the kids. Your final score is based on the amount of time it takes the ball to travel from the entrance to the exit of your ball run in seconds, and the amount of paper you used rounded up to the nearest whole sheet using this equation. The final score equals four times the number of seconds it takes the ball to travel from the entrance to the exit of your ball run minus the number of sheets of paper you used. Again, remember this is rounded up to the nearest whole sheet. This means that while you can improve your score by making the ball take longer, you should also avoid wasting paper. You can improve your ball run and try as many times as you'd like to achieve a high score, but you can only submit one score per team. See the link to the written instructions below this video for complete contest rules and entry information. Good luck and have fun with the 2022 Floor Engineering Challenge.